Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has recently announced that the Windows subsystem for Linux app, available through the Microsoft Store, uh, is now available for Windows 11 and also Windows 10 users. And they've also mentioned in that announcement that the Microsoft Store app, available through the Microsoft Store, is now the default version for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And as we can see from the app that it's lost its preview title and label and is now stable and has become the default version on both operating systems. So if you are using Windows subsystem for Linux, you may find this video useful. Now, um, another benefit obviously is that if you are running Windows 10, you can now also use and run Linux GUI apps um, on Windows 10, where previously you could just do that on Windows 11. Now, um, if you are kind of in the dark at the stage to what Windows subsystem for Linux is, Basically, a brief description, um, according to Microsoft and um, from the Microsoft Store app, uh, a brief summary is that WSL basically allows you to run Linux apps directly on Windows without having to dual boot the operating system alongside Linux. So, And that's just a brief description. And also another benefit um, of uh, using the WSL app through the Microsoft Store is that you can get the latest updates and features a lot faster according to Microsoft, so that's another benefit. Now, if you are using Windows Subsystem for Linux, there are one or two things you need to take note of here at first. And according to Microsoft, you still need to enable the optional virtual machine platform component, which as many of you will know, we get to by heading to the control panel, programs and features, head into the top left, click on turn Windows features on or off, and you need to make sure that virtual machine platform, that component is toggled on and you've checked the box and that has been enabled because you still need to enable that optional platform and component to be able to use the WSL app available now through the Microsoft Store, which is now out of preview. And something else to take note of is if we head over to uh, the release notes and that announcement, which was made on the 22nd of November, which was yesterday in my region. Um, they say yeah, that they are also making the store version of WSL the default, as mentioned, for new users who run WSL install and easily upgradable by running WSL update for existing users. So if you are a new user, you can run the WSL install command. And if you are an existing user, you can run WSL update that command and that will upgrade you and update you to uh, the latest store app and store version as mentioned. And then something else Microsoft makes mention of here, and it's regarding getting the um, the WSL update through Windows Update on your device. And they mentioned that um, it's also going to be available for seekers who are checking for updates and will be pushed automatically to devices from mid-December. So that'll be next month, um, around about the 15th of December. So if you want um, to get um, WSL available, um, on your device sooner than later you can just manually check for updates and seek for the update as shown and uh, something else to take note of here they say that if you see a message saying a new update is available they say please install it and you'll also need to be running windows 10 versions 21h1 21h2 or 22h2 or on windows 11 21h2 with all the november updates applied so if you are running Windows 10, that'll be update KB5020030, which rolled out last week. And we are still waiting for the optional November update for Windows 11, KB5019157, which was in preview a week or two ago, and we are still waiting for that update. So um, as soon as you get um, that Windows 11 update, as mentioned, the Windows 10 update has already rolled out. Um, start checking and seeking for updates if you want to get WSL uh, the latest update installed on your device sooner than later. So that's um, in regards to the new WSL app available now through the Microsoft Store, as mentioned, for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.